Hey YouTube, welcome back for another tutorial. On this tutorial, I'm going to cover a little bit of automation like the tape stop effect and stuff like that. Um, mostly for hip hop trap beats. Um, or you can just use it with whatever you want. I don't care. Just do what you got to do. Um, we got the beat laid out. Um, just a simple boom bow. Thirty seconds, boom, done. Anyway, so we got tape stop. We're gonna get rid of this little guy. We got tape stop. We're gonna delete him too. I actually started a previous tutorial on this, and I tried to do something and it wasn't cooperating, so I just deleted that and I'm starting over. Um, but you'll be listening to some songs on radio, and it's just like na na na. Uh, and it just picks right back up. You might know how to do it. You might not. If you don't, I'm going to show you. If you do, just hit the like button anyway. Or just leave. Don't leave. Watch the video. Because you might learn something. Anyway, so you got your beat laid out. Your tracks. Everything's through here. Looking all nice. But you want to add that effect. Well, guess what? Your boy FOC is going to show you how to do that. So you pull up, you got everything done, you, you pull up your mixer channel, master, and if you don't have the preset, Google it, it's free. If not, hit me up, I'll help you get it. D Blue Tape Stop. Click it, it opens up. Right click on the trigger, create automation clip. Here's your automation clip. It might throw it somewhere where you don't want it, just click on the top and move it to where you want it. You can drag it, make it as long as you want, as short as you want. Um, so we're going to get started, um, it's on the master, you don't hear nothing, on this tape stop, set the trigger at 50, boom, go in, make the tracks bigger where you want it so you can see what you're doing. So say we want it right here. Right before that part comes back in. So we're going to right click right here. We're going to get it to where we want it. Close enough. Right click it. Bring it up. But you want to hold it. Right click on that little button. Hold. Hold on. Correct. Right click again, make yourself another little button. Buttons. Sound like crap, right? Go back in and mess with the slowdown. Don't mess with the declick, or you can. Maybe that's why I'm getting clicks. I don't know. I have to figure that myself. Like I said, if you've been watching my tutorials, I'm not a professional. I'm not making money off my beats. I wish I could. I've made a few good beats. I just gave them away for free. I'm not that good yet. But everything that I've learned, I have just messed around, you know, experimented, um, and learned myself. Um, on mixing and mastering, I have watched some other tutorials on guys that are way far ahead of me. Um, light years, probably. Um, but they have helped me, and that's why you're here. So hopefully I can help you. Um, but anyway, back to the tutorial. You got it where you want it. You know that's where you want it. So you're gonna go back in. And you're gonna mess with this slowdown. You're gonna, you're gonna mess with it. It's trial and error. It's see how it. See faster. Just sounds like. Bring it down. simple right I mean it ain't that hard mess with the slowdown to set your trigger okay the trigger is gonna be I thought I said it at 50 okay, 
some reason it just did its thing and just went back to zero. Oh, because when you set it, that's right, you're setting it. Eh, when this kicks in, I bet you it jumps to 50. So that's that. Um, you know, if you can't get your hands on the Deep Blue uh, tape stop, shoot me a message, comment, uh, and I'll get with you, and uh, we'll see if we can't get something popping for you. Um, I still have the, if it's not free anymore, I still have the file. I'm pretty sure I'll just send you. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's how you do that. Like I said, once again, I'm not a professional. I just do this. I learn everything myself. Um, and, you know, that's what music's all about. It ain't about getting on here and then when you make a tutorial or a beat and you post it and you got all these haters coming through like, that beat's garbage, blah, blah, blah. Well, who said it's garbage? You? Like I said, my first tutorial ever, I was probably going to get hated on a lot. But actually, the first tutorial, I got a lot of love on it. So I appreciate all the love. Um, but with the whole music thing, it's just do what you got to do. You know, if you like the beat, who cares? You know, somebody else out there is going to like that beat. You know, I mean, it's just plain and simple. Like, just, I could just. Um, but you see what I'm saying, man. If you like it, who cares? Um, just do what you gotta do. And as you probably already realize, I'm not the most serious guy when it comes to this. I'm just sharing what little bit of knowledge I know to you guys so it help you guys out. So if the tutorial, this tutorial on creating the deep blue tape stop has helped you in any way, subscribe to me. I'm gonna come out with a whole bunch of stuff. Bunches of stuff. Um, that most of these other guys have probably already did. I'm going to make it simple for you. It ain't going to be like, let's walk through the whole beat, and I'm going to show you how to do every little single thing. I don't want to make your beat. I'll make my own beat. Just show me what I need to know. Like this. You know, I done had the beat made. I ain't going to sit here and make you watch 30 minutes of this for me to make the whole beat. You know, I mean, it's just that simple. Like, oh, crying out loud. Anyway, I am not... But you see what I'm saying? The beat was laid out. I come in, I did my thing, I showed you what you needed to know, and then we're going to get out of here. So until next time, I appreciate the love. Like, share it, show some friends, subscribe, and I appreciate your love, man. God bless y'all.